YouTube, Mobile Technology Reviews here, and today I'm going to be doing a hands-on video of Android 4.4 KCAT on the Google Nexus 4. So let's start off by turning the device on. Okay, so here we are, starting the device up. And as you can see, there's our new startup logo. It's a little bit more flat and minimalistic similar to uh, iOS 7. And the first thing you'll notice on the uh, lock screen here is this little arrow down here at the bottom. And if you basically drag this and drag it up, it's just a quick way to access Google Now from the lock screen. Now obviously if you have a pattern lock enabled, like I do, you're going to have to put your pattern in. Um, another new feature is down here in the bottom right hand corner you have a little camera icon if you tap on it hold it drag it up and over to the left that's how you access your camera from the lock screen another new thing up here is we have this uh, white status icon status bar um, Android has gotten rid of the the old blue uh, color scheme that they have and they've moved to kind of an off white Okay, so here we are on the home screen. Now it pretty much looks the same as it previously did. Not much differences here. One thing you will notice right here is the camera icon is different. And so is the phone icon. Um, now the phone, this is a completely different dialer. As you can see it's white now instead of the uh, blue and black. You tap this, that's how you bring up your dialer. Um, I personally liked the old dialer better, um, but that's just me. So that's the new dialer. The camera here hasn't really gone through any changes, just the icon. Um, one thing in the gallery is that you used to have to click this dot, these three dots up here in the corner, scroll down to delete, and then hit yes. Now all you have to do is tap this little trash can and it'll automatically delete it. I think that's a nice feature to include. A lot simpler, a lot easier. And another thing that continues with the uh, white color scheme of Android 4.4 is the notification bar up here. As you can see, the line right here is white rather than blue. Now if you go over here, you can see we have a new setting icon. We also have a new location option. Speaking of settings, let's go into settings. There's a the new icon. And here we go, we have an updated settings app. Again, it follows the new white color scheme. We have a new thing, new section right here called tap and pay. And this has to do with Google Wallet. I'm not going to go into in-depth detail on that because I don't know too much about it. Um, another new feature right here is printing. Um, before Android 4.4, um, Android did not have a built-in way to print documents, or anything for that matter. You had to install a third-party app to be able to print something. Now, it's built-in, which is a really nice feature. Just to prove to you that this is 4.4, there we go. Android 4.4 KitKat. Now this is the over over the air update that Google sent out. Um, we do have a couple of new pre-installed apps. One of them right here is Quick Office. Uh, you used to have to download Quick Office from the Google Play Store. Now it comes pre-installed. Another new application is Google Play Newsstand. basically an update to Google Play magazines. And finally, we have Google Play Games, which is basically Android, the Android equivalent to Apple's Game Center. Now as you can see, this is very fluid. 
I think it is even more fluid than 4.3. Um, supposedly, Android 4.4 is supposed to be optimized for devices with less RAM, so that should add speed. And I do have a live wallpaper running here. As you can see, everything's very smooth in the interface. Hardly any lags anywhere. Um, there has not been a very significant update to Google now. You still have to drag from the bottom and drag up to access it. Oh shoot, the Broncos lost. Damn it. Sorry. Um, so that's basically it for the new features in Android 4.4 KCAD. I know a lot of people were expecting the launcher from the Nexus 5 to come to the Nexus 4. Um, but that obviously didn't happen. You know, the uh, on-screen buttons down here still have a black background. So does the status bar up here. It's not transparent like on the Nexus 5. You also don't have the left home screen dedicated to Google Now. And uh, speaking of Google Now, you can't just say, OK Google, from the home screen. It won't open Google Now like it does on the Nexus 5. Um, the background on the app drawer is still the same old plain black that's been since 4.0, not transparent like it is in the Nexus 5. And you still have to add your widgets from the app drawer. Um, so that's about it for my hands-on with the Android with Android 4.4 KCAD on the Nexus 4. Um, stay tuned, I'll have more coverage on Android 4.4 and Nexus 4 itself. And uh, thank you all for watching. See ya.